tested my father. My father was not born in years of Dimiri, but he could tell that was Dimiri. How he did, I do not know. People say prophecy was made before I was born, others say there was none. But Papa knew I was Dimiri in Cannes. Oh, you don't like my story? Okay, let me help you with the basket. Please, 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 please. I am fine. I can take care of myself. I'm not heavy. Let me help you and stop acting like Jennifer or they called you. Connie and Lucy with her eggs. Yes. So, I'm too small for you to talk to me. So, can you tell your work? I'm walking with you and you're walking away from me. Let me ask you, why do you feel too big and you treat people like goats? Is your different? Are you made of precious stone? I wish I'd after you. But bear in the mind that I'm bringing power into your house tomorrow. Let me see you reject it. Do you think you can play the guinea fowl that lays her egg only where she can find them? How long do you think you can hide your treasure from me? Simon. 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 <laughs> See how my name sounds in your voice. Simon. Yes, my love. I am not your wife. You are my wife. Okay, okay, Simon. What do you want? What I want? This, of course. This. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Leave the knife alone. Drop Simon, look, a lot of people are stopping in this yes. village. Oh, yes. Okay, just go into the bush and come right behind you. Go in. See, you've made my day. Help! Help! Stop, stop here! Stop here! Stop here! Maybe you need to take a walk to calm you down. A walk? What do I need a walk for? Because you are getting really agitated and frankly I'm not in the mood. Oh, you have to be in the mood. Wait, why aren't you being in the mood anyway? Why in the name of the ancestors won't you give your husband a little something when he wants it? Because when he wants a little something, it's not when I want it. Your desire for that little something has to coincide with my own desire for that same little something. When our desires come at the same time, then maybe we can get a little something done. When have you ever wanted that thing? Huh? When? In the last six months that we got married, not even three times, not even twice, and not even once, Regina. I haven't wanted. What? No, the thing. The thing? Hmm? You see, that's the worst thing about you. You do not even speak like a king. 
which king calls making love to his wife the thing? Huh? See, you hit the nail right on the head. So you know what I'm talking about. Give it to me. Well, I won't. It is my right. God forbid. My body is no man's right. My body is my right. And I open it only and if I want to. Marriage or no marriage. Oh. <laughs> we started again. My lord, we just brought in a young man. He molested a widow. My lord, they needed to come listen to the case, my lord. Molest? I mean, why would any man want to molest a woman? Why? I'll deal with them coming. Yes, my lord. Take him away. Give him 30 lashes and let him present two goods to her. You are going to work on this woman's farm for five days under strict supervision, sun up, sun down. Your Majesty, as a man like me, you should understand that I'm a married, beautiful widow like Nomi. It's a big temptation. You are an idiot. If you walk on a footpath, and you see a tree which doesn't belong to you, full of fruit, ready to fall down. Do you pluck it, knowing very well that it doesn't belong to you? You said it all, my lord. The fruit is ripe, ready to fall down. I will not only pluck it, but I will pluck it and eat it. It doesn't belong to me, and it doesn't belong to anybody. It is one fruit. Increase his punishment. He's unrepentant. And if he gives you any more trouble, take him to the local center and then to the police station. You'll be locked up for years. And then after you'll be taken to court where you'll never ever come out of prison. Your Majesty, please, I will abide by your own punishment. Not of the police. Please, don't involve the police. I don't have anybody. As for this spirit of temptation, this spirit of desire, I will not look at her anymore. I will never come to her corner, please, your majesty. Take him away! Your Highness, thank you very much. You're full of justice. And may God protect you and bless you. Today I punished a young man for trying to do what I've, I've been doing to you every night. 
he was trying to forcibly have sex with his wife. And it got me thinking. You know, it got me thinking about me being sorry for doing those things. For trying to molest you. I'm sorry. Good. So, so are you willingly going to give it to me then? I don't know. Only God knows. You are mean and wicked. S sex, my lord, is not an act of kindness. Desire is awakened by the touches. Well, that means you're not willing to give it to me then. you always forcing me. Forcing me to do what you want. Read your history books, my lord. Realize, make bad lovers. Is the reason for leaving without love? Life has the meaning when the one you love is gone. Happiness is gone. Loneliness and sadness fills your day. Life is. Majesty, you sent for me. Have a seat. Have a seat. Has there been any more molestations? No, Your Highness. Apparently, words have gone around the village that you punished Simone very, very well, so, yeah. Mm. I want you to come and live in the palace. We will provide a room for you. And you shall stay safe till you choose a man to marry. Or, you shall become a concubine for a man you choose. Thank you very much, Your, Your Majesty. I appreciate your kindness and your help. I'm not the only widow in this land, but yet I'm the only widow who has been opportune to be favored by the king. Your Majesty, if I decline, will it vex you? Because I'd, I'd rather stay in my husband's house where I can feel his presence and miss him. Early widowhood makes you say never again. But in time, you'll find a man with the qualities of a dead one and more. That's when marriage will come. I will never find a man, Your Majesty. Never. What do you miss about your husband? What I miss most about him is him. 
him. Him? Yes, him. Not his smiles. Not the way he talks. Not his body. Not his wants or touches. Just him. If you find him again, would you miss him less? Your Majesty, I've lost him. Maybe I'll find him again when I die and become a spirit like him. If you find him again in different clothing, different voice, different skin, would it make you feel better? Does not keep to his words. But when my words will condemn me to a lifetime of being less a man, I will go back on my words. Something you need to do. Really? What do you want me to do? Huh? I give you love, I give you attention, I give you everything a woman could ever want for. What more do you want? world you need to make me laugh. Oh yeah? Oh, it's really loud, huh? Oh, 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 oh. How can you threaten a woman because she rejected the palm wine you and your family members brought to her house to marry her? Did you inform her that you are bringing the palm wine? Huh? Why is it written in the law of this land or country that a woman should accept any suitor whether she likes him or not? Answer me! No, your majesty. Confiscate his land. Kill his goats and give him 60 lashes on his buttocks. Make him work six weeks under the hot sun on this widow's farmland. Take him away. Okay, Your Highness. And you. You are coming to live in this palace. Go and pack your things. If you reject this proposal again, no one would ever judge you.
this case ever again. Concubine. Oh, so you think you know me that well, huh? Wait, don't I deserve a concubine? I mean, judging from the way you're behaving. She has a husband. Her husband is dead. So it's not about me. It's about a pair of legs that open. Any pair of legs. You made it so. Speaking of which, shall we? No, Richard. I'm not a pawn. You know, she's just not gonna be my concubine. She's 
gonna be my wife. Let's see. Excuse me. He asked you to come get me. Yes, Madam Nami. My lord the king wants you to come back now. For every teardrop, there's a hand to wipe it. I went to be with my husband. Your husband is dead. He doesn't know you came to his grave. You have given me so much. Why do you turn around and take away so much from me? All I ask is to take a widow. And this widow wants to mourn her husband. You can't mourn forever. Your tears must dry up. My lord, you're married. And she's a beautiful woman. She's nice, kind, and she's good to me. Please, I do not want to share her husband. Please. You do not share her husband. You restore her husband to her. For in having you, I love her more. And in losing you, also I do wish to send her away, for I will be enveloped in sadness. So much so that I will never, ever want to be with any woman again. Your Majesty, breakfast is ready. The Queen is waiting.
Now we eat. Sadness eats away your flesh. So you must eat to fill it up. I'm truly very sorry. It was not my wish to dine with you and the king. I refused his offer, but he insisted. It was his wish. I'm sorry. It's fine. Get up. I promise you I would never accept to marry the king. You see, I had a husband once and he just went off and died. Nobody truly knows this, but in my heart, I feel like, I feel like I'm responsible for his death. I feel like I just sent him out there to die. Everyone has a story, I guess. Would your majesty want to hear mine? Do you want to tell me? I would love to tell you if you're willing to listen. <sighs> Perhaps you do not know anything about me. Perhaps all you know about me is that I'm a widow who your husband has saved. A widow whose case was brought to the palace and your husband the king gave her a room here to, to keep her away from all those men that sexually harassed me like the one that did today. I guess that's all the queen knows about me. My husband also greatly desired her for there are many widows in the land but he has not asked one of them to come live here and to be provided for as you have been provided for. Surely you must know that my husband didn't act out of kindness but out of his desire for you just as the young men who attack and threaten you. Your Majesty, I want to leave but the king would not let me. I just, I just want to flee to another land not have any money. I could give you money for you to flee and be comfortable all your life in another land or city. But I won't. Why? Your Majesty, why? Please, I beg of you. Just let me go. Please. No. I want to see how far my husband will go. My marriage has not been a happy one. Was your marriage a happy one? My husband was very insecure at first. He never really believed that I was his, totally. Because he was not financially buoyant enough to pay my bride price. So he always doubted my love. All he wanted was just a proof, a commitment to always know that I was always going to be there for him. Hold on. 
just want to make sure nobody's seen us. Look, they will say we'll go to church. And we still came to the shrine. But it was your idea for us to come in the first place. Let's go. No, no, wait. After we're done. Eh? promise to be yours to take no other as my wife as long as God gives us life on this earth. I promise to be yours now and forever to love no other man and to marry no other man as my husband besides you as I live on earth and as God gives me life. Good. Satisfied. Alright, say after me. Hmm? I make this vow. I make this vow. Before the gods of our land. Before the gods I said. Before the gods of our land. That's why we're here. Before the gods of our land. And this shall be the sign. And this shall be the sign. Come to help me. Why are you smiling like that? Huh? Oh, you are just admiring your husband. Eh? <laughs> Don't worry. Very soon, I'm going to marry you. You see? By the time I finish supplying these wrappers hmm, to those women, I will have enough profit to pay your bride price. We still have enough to enjoy ourselves. <laughs> I'm pregnant. And then when we are old, he will take care of us. <laughs> eh? Say, 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 say amen. amen. <laughs> no. Ew. Wait, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> 
Surely the baby must have made you happy. Why are you crying? We got married. Chiki was the most wonderful husband. You still haven't told me why you are crying. Your Majesty, why are you not angered with the king for making such an open pass at me? Why are you not upset with him? Why are you being this nice to me? It's strange. I told you. Everyone has a story. My story is a long one. Does Your Majesty find this poor widow worthy of hearing a story? Not today. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe the day after tomorrow. Who knows? Continue your story. Sorry, Your Majesty. Not today. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe the day after, the next day. Who knows? I humbly beg to take my leave, Your Majesty. I humbly beg to take your leave, Your Majesty. Go. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. One question. The baby, what happened to him? That will be a story for another day, Your Majesty. Tell me, tell me, tell me, you are looking at me and you're talking to them. I don't know. Ah, ah, raging gum. Okay, try, try, try. You're looking at me and you're talking to them. I don't know, tell me. My crossed eyed neighbor. <laughs> Past four eyes. And you're 430. You know, this way. <laughs> I'm looking here. And I'm going there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You're such a mess. Oh, now I know you're really crazy. Would you love me if I look like... Reggie <laughs> Gab, <laughs> listen. I would love you ten times over. Even if you were blind, I would still love you. <laughs> but seriously, you need to watch it. Don't crack jokes like that. Because there are people who are really born like that. And they'll be hot to hear you crack jokes like that. Okay, I'm sorry, but... Uh, I have to tell you this one last joke. You know, there's this cross-eyed man that knocks down a boy with his bicycle. And he walks up to the boy and told him, Why don't you look where you are going? And the boy looked at him and told him, You! Why don't you go where you are looking? <laughs> <laughs> Please stop. 
<laughs> Look at Regine. When we get married, I'm going to make you laugh every day of your life. I promise. That reminds me. What? Why didn't you put on the beautiful clothes I got for you? No, no. Not yet. Do you want them to say that I sent the Igwe's daughter to go and steal his father's money to clothe me? They will say that Mokolo sent Regina, the Igwe's daughter, to go and steal the Igwe's money for me. No, I don't want that yet. Let's leave that aside. Let me give you one more riddle. Okay. Tell me, tell me, tell me. What squats and smiles? <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad one. I won't say it. Okay, okay. Give me a clue. It's in a woman's body. Hey, say the name. Say the name. <laughs> oh, hello. What? Please run. No. Please run. No, I won't. No. Let them come and If you love me, you no. run. Let them come and beat me. Don't let your body get burned. How long would I? Would I? Would I? Would I? Would I continue? Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. No. No. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Your father wants you now. The king of Ojoto and his son Richard are here. And your father wants you to meet the man that will be your future husband. Tell my father to go and marry the so-called Richard himself. Your father said we should grab you or bring you home by force if you refuse to come. You cannot. And we can't. Just stop it. Stop, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. was my friend. He knew how to make me laugh. Here, yeah, all I have is a lord and a husband. These clothes which I wear, this queen which I am called. I have nothing. Nothing if I don't have Wokolo. Come. Your Majesty. The King wants you to come and welcome his council and play hostess. I'll be there to do my duties. Tell my husband I said so. Five minutes and I'll be out there to perform my duty as usual. Yes, Your Majesty. Hey, 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 hold it! Move back, both of you! Don't show me big chest, though. Don't think you can intimidate me with big chest. Because if I show you my own chest now, what will follow is a chest festival. Then we will leave what we have come to say and start talking another one. By the way, what do you want? And who are you? Eh, uh, 
Okay. First question first. Number one, I want my wife. Number two, my name is Mokolo. Mmacho. Mmatuebu. Mwebu. Ohapase. Do you have a wife here? This is the palace of King of Ojoto. King Richard of Yanwale. Nkato. Don't get me angry. If you know what is good for you, both of you, don't just get me angry. Because it's been six months since I last set my eyes on my wife. Six months since I've been summoning enough courage to come on this trip. All the way from my village, Okisi. Which you know is five villages away from here. So, go and get me my wife. That woman you call your queen. I call her my wife. Yes, she's my wife. Sometimes, when I'm happy, when I've taken enough stock fish and palm wine, I call her Regibin. Oh, Regingam. Or better still, Regime. <laughs> now, do you know who my wife is? Your Majesty, there is a young man outside the gate, ranting and asking to see his wife. He calls himself Mwokolo. His wife? Who is he and who is his wife? My lord, I cannot repeat the name of the woman he calls his wife before you, my lord. I permit you to say the name. Your wife? My lord, the queen. Are you and what do you want? Don't be afraid. Okay. Shut up. Hi. Ah. Richard. Richard. <laughs> so you are the boy who took my wife away from me. Hey, Richard. I want my wife back. I am dying to see my wife. And which one is do not be afraid? Who even told you I'm afraid? Look, you took my wife before. I have come to take her back. Eh? I took your wife? Yes, you took my wife. find me. Will they take me away? No, they won't find you, but you don't have to keep hiding in this bush. Eh? Why don't you take me to your father, the Igwe of this village? Let me talk to him. Eh? Let me let me tell him how much I love you. Yes. No. Maybe he'll let us be. Not today. The king of Ojoto and his people are coming to the house today for the marriage rites. Ah, I will not marry anybody. My father wants me to marry him because he's an Igwe. I don't even know this man. He didn't even grow up in his village, so they told me. They say he went to school in Ghana. 
Why are we Ghana? When his father died, he came to see my own father. And then he set eyes on me. Reggie, Reggie, wait, save me, save me. Look, I, I know all that, eh? Now, the problem is, what do we do? What do we do? We can't continue like this, Mbano. Eh? We stay here. In this bush? Yes, we stay here. Nobody's going to take my wokolo away from me. Nobody can take away my love from me. I'm not going to allow it. Nobody is going to do this to me. You <sighs> think I'm... Say it again. Regina, I love you. Tell them you must go to marry and you're a person. Nobody will take you. That little boy that said he saw and take this stone was right. That lady is getting married today. And you desecrate her! Oh, no. Run! Who told them we're here? Run! No! You are not here. That was how you stole my wife from me. That was how my woman got married to you. I do not know of this story you're talking about. I met a woman I loved. I asked for a hand in marriage. Her father gave me his consent and I married her. <laughs> Richard, she belongs to me. Give her back. You met a girl, you met her father, he gave his consent, and you got married to her. That is not how people get married. Biko, give me back my wife. Come into the palace and let's talk. Oh, okay, Bunu. Okay, you think I'm afraid to come in there? Okay, let's reach there. He's our guest. Give him food, drinks, and decent clothing. Make him comfortable. Yes, my lord. Wait. 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 Richard. I hope you have not brought me in here to insult me. Eh? Because I like the way I am looking. I have not come to your palace to beg for food or, 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 or clothes. Mm -mm. Just tell them to get me drink. That one I will take. Drink. Drink. <laughs> There's a stranger in our palace. I ask that he be fed, clothed, and given some water to drink. He mentions your name. 
things that will make you happy. What is his name? Won't call him. Did you say... Don't call him. This is you since that day. Throw him out. me then. For all I did was to marry a man who took another wife and loved me less. So because of a common village insolent ragamuffin, my wife has refused to perform her conjugal obligations to me in bed. Alright, henceforth I'm not going to insist that she stays married to me anymore. I'm going to let her go to him. After all, I've got beautiful Naomi now. If she goes, I'll marry Naomi and all will be well for me. For once, I will be happy. Yes, I'm gonna let Regina go, so I marry Naomi.
it's all coming to me now. This is the reason why you have been nice to me. This is the reason why you were not upset that I came into your household. You were not upset when your husband openly made passes at me. Poor me. Poor me. I was just a pony, you okay? different things would have been if I still had my husband. If I didn't lose my pregnancy. I lost it. I was too happy to live with my husband. I wanted to be the perfect wife for him. I wanted to do everything, everything for him. I wanted to wash. I wanted to clean. I even wanted to cut firewood for him. I think I'm in the mood to eat. Eh? It's been two days now since you lost that, 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 that baby. And I kept telling you, don't cut that firewood. You will not listen to me. Stop cutting firewood. You will not listen. Look at it now. You've lost, you lost the pregnancy. That was the first time he hit me, but it was not the last. Overnight, something as beautiful and as sweet as our marriage became bitter. As bitter as of no belief. I became my husband's number one enemy. He hit me at the slightest provocation. device a means to get out of all this so I lied to him and I was pregnant again I guess it worked because he stopped him up two days after I announced the news of my first pregnancy to him 
He asked me to request for anything I might want as a wedding gift. I requested for caverns from Gabon. My father grew up in Gabon. And he told us that they had beautiful caverns there. And how they sold them to make money. I wanted one for the memory. He left for Gabon. Walking. Marry him. He will live here. Catered for. Protected. You shall no longer be a widow. You shall be a queen. And I will go back to my love. You will be happy at last. You will be happy too. The king will be happy. For finally, he has a wife whose heart is with him and not with another man. The king is a good man and you know it. Please. I want to go. I want to go. Please tell me you will. Tell me you will. I am tired of fighting. I am tired of running for safety. I am tired of being called a king fowl. Yes. Yes, I would marry your husband. It's not convinced you enough to stay. I'm a king. Having two wives is no strange thing at all. One who obeys me in everything and one who just doesn't. You and Naomi get along so well. So I don't know why you still want to leave this palace. Stay. Stay so that we can all share love. This is my throne. You sit on the right, and Naomi sits on the left. 
so that the three of us will be complete. Lest I forget, I wanted to personally congratulate you on your wedding to Naomi yesterday. It was colourful. She'll make you a good wife. I wish you the best. Thank you. his new wife. Your seat is empty. Come and take it. Everywhere is locked up. I cannot see my wife.
Ja. report a case of missing wife to the king. You know, since I traveled and came back, I've been looking for my wife. Hmm? And uh, whoever I ask in the village will just see me and run away. Eh? I don't know what is happening. Only the king can help me now. Uh, what did you say your name is again? Chike. Chike. My wife's name is Naomi. Huh? Naomi. Who is Chike? Chike. It has the name of my late husband. Did you see his dead body? Was he buried? Was it brought home? <laughs> my lord, he drowned in the ocean and the boat that he was traveling capsized. And words got to me. From who? Two survivors. Immediately after the accident, they went over to their village in Abba. And, um, Typical of Chiki, he told them beautiful stories about me and about his village. From those stories, they traced me and they told me what happened. Why all these questions, my lad? There's a man at the gate asking to report the case of his missing wife. And his name is? Chiki. Uh, definitely not my Chiki. My husband died a long time ago. Take us to him. my friends drink and make merry you know these days I'm very happy I don't know why but I'm very happy more happy than those days even before I regime went away so enjoy yourself very soon my wife will finish preparing the good meat pepper soup she's preparing in the house and then she will serve us like a good and beautiful wife drink my brother <laughs> there's nothing short of a miracle how God plotted the grab that brought her back and you see, miracle is not only when you go to church and start crying to custom churches. Mm -mm. Miracle can happen in a poor man's village. God goes in everybody's house. 
whether I place a poor or rich. Exactly. When you have a child's toy up above your head, you will say to yourself, I'm taller than this child. And he cannot have his toy because his hand cannot reach where I'm holding his thing. And uh, because of that, not knowing that your hands will begin to pay you. Mm -hmm. And you will bring it down. The child will have what belongs to him. Man! Ajakwa! Ijiobu! <laughs> that is the truth. There is no two ways. Uh, simple truth. Hey! Here comes my wife with the good meat purposes. Ready, Ngam? Asamwa. Yeah, drop it here. Press or I greet you. You are welcome. Asamwa. Beautiful girl, how are you? I'm fine. She's fine. <laughs> Thank you. You are fine indeed, my dear. At the rate of things, I'm sure you people will get married. Look at this man. Look at this man. And if I wear more clothes, shoe, I would have started the attack since. Alika, Alika, you have started again. Don't you know that before the attack, you must check out the attack and the defense. Yes, yes. You must check out the bumper and the headlamps to make sure they are tight. Look, let me tell you, I know where you're coming from. Okay. I ride how? Okay. So don't think I don't ride. I do. Okay. And it's a good ride. Okay. <laughs> but the attack is what I have not done. Really? Wait, wait a minute. Hold on. This one. What? Okay. Ready, man? No, no, no. This is not you. I don't like this look on your face. This is not you. Hey! Because I noticed the way you walked out of that place. Now tell me, what is the matter? Have you no respect for me? Is that how you discuss me? Sexually, in front of your friends, in public. <laughs> It's not a problem now. Look, it doesn't matter. You see those boys you see there? They are my friends. They are me and I am them. We discuss everything under the sun. Look, your girlfriend my son in a bed. We discuss it. Your girlfriend and my husband in a bed. We discuss it. That is the way we are. So don't even worry about it. In your world, it may not matter. But in my world, it matters. A little class. A little decorum. A little watching of your tongue knowing what to say to me in public and knowing what to say to me in private <laughs> Bia, Bia, Regibim in your world do we now have two different kinds of world? because I know you have class 5 and me too, I have class 5 so I don't understand what world you are talking about all I ask is that you must show me some respect Lady, my ex husband used to treat me like a lady. Yeah, there she goes again. I keep telling you, I am not your ex husband, so stop comparing me and him. At least you can try to be a bit polished. Reading them, am I not polished enough as I am? You are not. I am. I knew you. Maybe I don't know you at all. Look, Regiben, you know me. You knew me, you know me, you will always know me. I am the same Mokolo, the same Mokolo you have known since. I have not changed one bit. Maybe it is that place you went to that has changed you. Or maybe it's that man you got married to that has changed you and changed the way you look at me and every other thing around. Maybe. Just maybe. I'm going home. Hmm? I'll see you tomorrow.
me it's not your fault. And it's never been your fault. I mean, why did he send word across that you're still alive? I am not gonna lose you. And I'm never gonna lose you. Not to him, not to anybody. I am waiting for his move. If he wants a fight, I'll give him a fight. You are my wife, and not his. <sighs> So I hear that he's been going about saying in the village that he's my husband, not you. Naomi, it's the last marriage that counts. But he says it's the first marriage that counts. I ask of you, my king, to give me the permission so I can go and see him. that you did not die. I'm happy that you came back. I heard that you made a grave for me. That you cried so much. Yes, I did. Well, why didn't you say something? Why didn't you even send a word? Why didn't you let me know that you were alive all this while? Why? There's no way I could say anything. I was lost. The fisherman who rescued me from the ocean took me to his village. A 
didn't have any money. And he didn't have any money to give me. And so I could not travel. His village was about a hundred miles from the nearest city. And I managed to save some money working with him after one year. And I traveled to the nearest city and worked as a steward in the hotel. But all, all through the years, all through the one year that I stayed there, I did not stop thinking about you. I didn't stop thinking about my now. So did you bring me back my carving? No. It is, it is a crime to travel out of that country with any of their artworks. That would have meant that I would have spent five years in jail. And I couldn't afford not seeing you for another five years. That would have killed me. You're a very foolish servant. You left your queen and returned because she asked you to. What if something happens to her? Did you think about that? I am very sorry, Your Majesty. Well, just pray that nothing happens to her by the time I get there. Or else you'll be very sorry if anything happens to my wife. Now, if I lose you, I will die. And since I will die if I lose you, to fight to get you back. But tell me now, do I have to fight to get you back? Eh? Do I? On whose side are you now? Are you on my side or on the side of the king? I'm just going to run away. I'll just run away from this village. You're going to run away? Eh? You're going to make me lose you again? No, no. Look, look in my eyes and tell me that you're going to make me lose you again. No. I do not want to lose you again. But I cannot hurt the king. I can't. You lived with me for four months before I traveled. And you've known me for, for many years. Which is stronger? He has been good to me. He was there for me when no one else was. Now that means something to me too. He loves me. I'm his wife. And then what about you now? Do you love him? I do not believe that a day will come when I would have to persuade you to stay with me or convince you to be with me. Oh I can't God, believe you it. you are not persuading me. Things are not easy as the same. Why? Are you pregnant for him? Because if you are, you are going to remove it. He will not let me go. He won't. If I go, he will fight you. And I do not want that. Then I'm going to fight him. If he fights me, I'm going to fight him. Then let one of us die. Now, tell him that you have to go. Tell him you have to return to me. Eh? No, he's the king, for God's sake. 
he can have whatever woman he wants. Now, tell him that you have to return to your lawful husband. Eh? Look, you're back here. You're back home, and that is it. What is this? What do you want here? Leave my house now. Leave my house now. That is the king you are talking to. No one orders him around. He's unheard of. Jonas, leave us. Your Majesty, are you sure? Leave. Naomi, I want you to get out of this house and get into the car. And I'm going to pretend as if this nasty incident of you marrying a king whilst kissing another man never happened. She is not going anywhere. She has returned to her home. This was her home. She does not belong here. You are my wife, and I'm your husband, and I'm ordering you to get out and get into the car. Shiki, please, let me go. If I don't, we'll fight. I do not want that. Natalie. Then, then tell me you have chosen him. Go ahead, tell me. Tell him. Look at me in the face. Huh? Tell me that my near drowning in the sea wasn't vain. Huh? Tell me that the sojourn and suffering in a strange land for nearly two years isn't vain. Tell me now, tell me. Huh? Tell me that my love all these years huh? and the oath now. You remember the oath we took? We took an oath now. Tell me, was it vain? Tell me, look in my eye. Now, now, look at me and tell me, was it vain? Tell me. Now. Now. Now, tell me. Now. 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 They both, was it in vain? It's a pity you have to recount what you've done for her. I'm not like you to recount. The memories are still fresh in your mind.
What is the what is the matter? Eh? Why are you crying? Eh? Stop crying, stop crying. Oh. Is it because of your two husbands that are at war? Because I have had it. No, no. Crying will not solve this problem. Crying will not solve it. And stop crying. Eh? It's only you who will solve this problem. Naomi, it's only you who will solve this problem. Stop crying. You have come to the right place. As the oldest man in this village, I will advise you. Eh? So, stop crying and wipe your tears and then stop. Eh? It will be all right. Naomi, believe me, it will be all right. Eh? I will see what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Aleka, hmm? Aleka, pour drink. Pour me drink. The first sheet to fall into the toilet is the firstborn son of the sheep. <laughs> True or false? Oh, yo. True or false? True. <laughs> True. <laughs> Look, let me tell you what one foolish man from Umu ever said. Mm -hmm. He said, I do not obey the commands of my wife because she told me not to obey her commands. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine a foolish man like that? <laughs> he does not obey the commands of his wife because she told him not to. That is obeying her commands. <laughs> hey, <who's that? laughs> mm. <clears throat> I'm going home. Okay. Um, <clears throat> did you prepare the meat intestine that I told you? So I'll see what I'll eat with my friends when we come back from the rapper market tomorrow. Uh -huh. All is well. <laughs> we are happy people. <laughs> we are happy. Yes, we are happy. Raging gang. Go well. I'll see you tomorrow. Look at this man though. Aleka. Oh, you want to help me and eat it? Do you eh? want to help him? Look at, look at, look at, look at this. Oh, no, she <laughs> bought me drinks. Thief. Hey, you want to help him? Don't go and get married. Stay here and look for somebody's wife you assist. That is not possible. He cannot take her by force. He can't. I will be here in your house tomorrow afternoon. Let him come with his guards too. And then I will show him that I have traveled the ocean. And I've met strange people. And I came back. I survived it and I came back. Uh -uh. What does he mean by that? Eh? <laughs> he is king. So what? Who cares about kings these days? Does he think we're in the 15th century? This is the 21st century. Nine. Do you know that I can arrest him? for stealing my wife. Only if your wife gives evidence that she was taken against her will. I, I know she, she won't. She won't hurt him and she won't hurt you. Oh my. <laughs> Naomi thinks that the king is going to harm me if she comes back to me. That is why she's not here today. Not because she loves him. Which woman truly loves a ruler? They all follow him because of his fame and his money. And as soon as he loses fame and money, they recede from him. Just like a river recedes from the shore in extreme dry season. Chike, don't you think this is the path to bloodshed? One of you must relent. One of you must relent to save the situation. The woman must make a choice. She will make a choice. And once she has done that, the rejected one must relent and let go. Until that is done, let blood flow if it must. Let blood flow. I will get my wife back. 
But I ask, do you fight for love or ego? Look, there are beautiful women everywhere. And love is what you command the heart to feel. And nine, you should ask the king the same question. Does he fight for Naomi's love or for his ego and pride? So that they do not say that one common villager took her from him. Is that what he's fighting for? I asked him already. I asked him. He said he fights for both love and ego. And I, I fight for the love and the promise. That is the only reason. The love that we share and the promise that we made to each other in a private place. A place where only two of us know about. That is all, Nay. The promise. The promise that we made to each other. That is all. This king. King in this, in this 21st century. Right? <laughs> I will not give up this one. I don't care whether he's king of the world. Naomi, get in the car. She will not go anywhere. Naomi, get in the car. Look, if anybody touches this one, look, I swear, I will kill somebody here today, now. Naomi, get in the car. Leave me. Hey. Let me go. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Hey. Stop. You want to kill me because of this woman? You want to kill me because... Jibem, look, tomorrow is Oye Market Day. I want you to talk to your parents. Eh? I want to come with my friends and my kinsmen to present the introduction wine so that we can get married and you will stay in this house permanently. You won't have to be coming and going back at the end of every day. No! Drink palm wine. Drink away your profits from the market. Then you come back home and drink pepper soup with your friends. Then you tell jokes that are frankly beginning to irritate me because that is all you do. Have you no other aim in life? Aim? What other aim do I have? Look, Rajingam, I am happy the way I am. You know, my father lived like this. And so did his father before him. Even my great-grandfather lived the same way. So we have been one happy family ever since. Ah, okay. Don't I make you happy? Don't I make you laugh? You make me laugh. Yes. Uh -huh. yes, you do. But is that all our marriage is going to be built on? Laughter? I want a man who can make decisions. I want a man who moves. Not one that stays in one place, year in, year out, selling wrappers in the market. I want more from life. Meaning? I 
I've been thinking about this whole situation. And I realized that what works for boyfriend does not necessarily work for marriage. Marriage between you and I will not work. Eh? I'm leaving you, Okolo. <coughs> You're joking, eh? I'm not joking. a lot. I thought I loved you. But I realized that I was just carried away by your jokes. No more from life. <laughs> Raging gam, you are doing me a brave fool. Okay, tell me you are joking. Girls like me only date. Guys like you. They move on to someone serious for marriage. Marriage is for serious minded people. One day you find someone. You find a girl who does not mind you talking about her sexually in front of your friends. My husband, the king of Ujoto. My dear Richard, he would never do this. He would never waste his day drinking pepper soup. He is a man. They are doing me a prayerful. Reggie, baby. Leave me. But today is not a prayerful day. Hey! What color? A prayerful. Because of the love you have for me, or because of the, the promise we made to each other. Of course, you know I love you. 
I've never stopped loving you, Chiki. I just realized it today. The moment I saw you in paint, my heart shattered into a thousand pieces. Chiki, the love fits from the promise. And the promise came from the love. I'm here because I love you. Thank you, man. I'm here. I'll never be happy if I don't cause him the kind of pain that he has caused me. Chiki, you have caused him so much pain already. The greatest pain that he feels right now is losing me. The entire village knows that he got married to me. And they would also know that I left him. Despite all the security, the love and the money and the fame that he was going to give me. I left him for you. That's enough shame for a man to have to hold. Leave me alone. Which one of you wants to rule this land? I will hand it over and go. I cannot sit on this throne any longer because I face humiliation. Did I just speak English to anyone? Have I lost my respect before you? Because I lost my wife to a mere villager. It is your throne, your majesty. And none can sit on it but you, your majesty. Can you ring me long, your majesty? Your majesty. What is it, Jonas? Your majesty, oh your majesty. Permit me to be happy today, your majesty. For her majesty the queen, has come back. Naomi has come back. Let my ancestors be praised. My pride and my ego is restored.